Hey, what is up YouTube? We're back yet again. I am not feeling great today. I don't know if it's coming out in my voice. I am just feeling very rough today and uh, yeah, everyone at work is basically sick and I guess I'm getting it too. Uh, but why are we doing a video anyway today? Well, today I got something in the post finally uh, that I am going to be sharing with you guys. What did we get? Uh, I'm just gonna hide my address there, but you can see here it is from Japan Post. This is directly from Japan. What did we get? What did we get? Well, we got a replacement pick guard for our Jazz Master. Uh, straight from Japan. Uh, I've not tested this, but I'm just told, and from what I've seen online, that the American ones don't fit exactly on a Japanese uh, Jazz Master and vice versa. Uh, and uh, the all I think the all parts ones will fit on a Japanese jazz master uh, they post all the measurements for all their pick guards uh, so like from this screw to this screw from this to this and blah 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 and uh, measuring on my jazz master everything seemed to line up the problem I had with all parts was that while I think the pick guard was like twenty dollars US which is acceptable uh, the shipping they wanted something like $46 if you're international and I'm sorry but it doesn't cost $46 to ship a pick guard it's a piece of plastic it weighs nothing uh, to Canada even if you're at the other end of the States there's no way it's costing that so uh, whatever uh, we went on amazon.co.uk uh, yeah don't ask because uh, dots, dot com would not ship pick guards to Canada and dot ca uh, didn't have any very good choices uh, went on dot co dot uk and uh, found this it is from a company in Japan you can see here this thing is if it'll focus focus well, anyway, it won't focus, but that thing does say made in Japan. This is completely made in Japan, and it is from, let's see, because they included a nice little note here. It is from Lucas Guitar, uh, who is uh, somewhere in Japan. I'm not even going to try and pronounce this. Uh, all told, off Amazon.co.uk, uh, paid for, shipped from Japan. This thing cost a total of 22 quid. Uh, what I paid in Canadian, the exchange rate from the British pound to Canadian, $36. $36 total for a brand new, what appears to be nice, very high quality pick guard. It is, uh, and it's got that nice uh, multi-layer, so it's gonna have that nice white outline all the way around it, which is what I wanted. Uh, it's not quite as red as I wanted, uh, it is red tortoise shell. Uh, I would have preferred to get red perloid, but this is what we could get. And checking super quickly, it seems to match up exactly. <sighs> Sorry, like I said, I think I'm getting a flu or something. So, uh, But yeah, it matches up exactly. Uh, it's nice quality, it looks nice. And it was a very nice price. Uh, now, like I said, I just kind of lined it up very quickly with my Jazz Master and everything seemed to line up exactly. Uh, we'll find out for 100% sure once we take the old pick guard off and replace with this. But you'll see the one issue I have is, as you can see, nothing is shielded. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, I went and I had for another project... Uh, I hadn't opened it yet because I haven't needed it for that project yet, but I had bought some aluminum foil tape uh, to actually make like a reflective surface on something for a light box. And uh, I just read quickly online and people say aluminum foil tape or copper foil tape will do the job perfectly for shielding a guitar. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take apart the Jazz Master that is behind us over there. Get the old pick guard off, get everything off, uh, foil up the new pick guard, and then hopefully it'll be just a direct swap, but uh, let's find out. All right, what's up YouTube? We are done. We took our old pick guard completely off. 
Uh, and I've said this in past videos, just give yourself a little receptacle, put all your screws and whatnot in. Uh, and the only ones I kept separate, uh, but you don't really have to because they're all the same, but uh, you're gonna have your pick guard screws, which are gonna be these tiny things with a pointy end to go into wood. And then you've got even smaller is going to be the four screws with a flat end that are to hold the uh, rhythm circuit components, so that switch and the two rollers. Uh, so if you mix everything up, they're different screws, don't worry about it. Uh, we can see here, these pick guards are identical. So that is great news. It means it's going to fit perfectly. The only thing is you'll notice this one is fully shielded. This one has nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and use my foil tape to just tape the entire back of this and then uh, cut out everything I need to cut out with a hobby knife. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to make you guys watch me do that. So I'll be back when I'm done and we'll just go for final assembly. All right, what's up? We are back. We have now pretty much done a decent job, at least, at uh, shielding the back of our new pick guard. It's not perfect. You can see there, uh, like the tape kind of bunched up on me there. But for the purposes of actually shielding, uh, but I mean, even this is factory, and I mean, you can still see there's like it's not perfect. So yeah, no. Uh, So yeah, there you go. It's done. We've shielded it and we are ready to put it on our new guitar, uh, old guitar, mm. old guitar, new pick guard. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah. So when you are, if you've never done this before, uh, you can, like I showed you before, just go get uh, some uh, copper or aluminum foil tape from the hardware store. Uh, just be careful. Two things. This is still metal, so be careful you don't cut yourself on the tape when you're doing this. Secondly, uh, be very careful with your knife. I kind of messed up in one small place. It doesn't really show, thankfully, but when you're, because uh, obviously you're not going to be eyeballing this. It's not going to be perfect off the roll. Uh, so what you end up having to do, is, and what I did, is use a cutting board, put the tape on in slabs then put it on and just cut the outline with a hobby knife. Uh, this is still plastic, so be careful you don't cut into the pick guard. I did a little bit here on the uh, corner. Uh, but again, it doesn't really show, so I'm not too worried. And what I really wanted, like I said, was the red with the white outline. Uh, I did cut in a little bit to the bottom black layer, but it's not the end of the world. I don't even think it'll show unless you're really looking for it. Uh, the other thing that's a bit of a pain is you're going to have to take your time and uh, cut out the pickup holes and all the holes for all the switches. And I poked the holes for the screws. Uh, it's going to be as good as it gets. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to assemble this on to the Jazzmaster and we'll be back and I'll show you how it turned out. All right, what's up? We're back. Final bit of this video. You can see the guard went on uh, without too much problem. Uh, just pro tip because usually I, I don't know if they're all this way, but I would assume. But anyway, mine anyway. And I've said anyway way too many times there, but anyway uh, all the wiring for the rhythm circuit was going under the uh, neck pickup for me and uh, it was just it was such a pain in the ass trying to get the uh, switch here screwed back in place so I ended up having to take the pickup out just to give some slack to the wires so that it was easier to get in there and put the switch in but as you can see I have I got it on uh, I was going to change all this to white, but I'm actually kind of digging the very aged yellowing plastic on the red on red here. Uh, so I'm thinking I might leave these. But I've already ordered the pickup covers and I've already got an extra set of white knobs. So we'll see when I get them. I mean, the pickup covers are like six bucks for two. Not the end of the world. 
But there you go. Uh, 1990, 1991 Fender Japan Jazzmaster. Just got a very nice facelift, in my opinion. Anyway, I like it a lot more like this. I am very, very pleased with this. Uh, so again, uh, Amazon.co.uk, they will ship to Canada. Uh, it's technically from Japan. Uh, it, like I said, it cost me $36 Canadian for this pick guard shipped from Japan. Uh, made in Japan. Fits perfectly on a Japanese Jazzmaster. Uh, the one, two little things to notice is it won't be shielded, sadly, so just pre-plan that you're gonna probably have to shield it. Uh, and secondly, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, it won't come shielded, and then secondly, oh yes, that's the thing is, I kind of guessed because, uh, if you, usually when they say how many holes are in a pick guard, it's the, uh, screws that hold it into the body. Uh, I don't remember how many are on the uh, Stratocaster. I think it was 10, but usually they tell tell you like count how many screws you need and find a pick guard that says it's X amount of holes. This one, I don't know why is, and all of them are listed as 10 hole, but if you count the screws, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, I missed one there. Uh, it's 13, It's but it's listed as 10 hole, even though it does have 13 holes in it. I kind of took a gamble, the picture, I counted on the picture, and it said it was 13 as well. But there you go. I'm just showing this because I am so happy with how this turned out. Uh, it's exactly how I wanted it. So the red with the white outline on a red guard. Uh, guard could be a bit more red, but I'm actually digging it this color. So there you go. Jazzmaster. Again, I don't think I'm doing anything else to this guitar. It is perfect. It's probably going to end up needing a refret in uh, the near future, and I might have to oil the tuners at some point because I don't think that was ever done. But other than that, this guitar is staying as is, and hopefully it'll just wear in beautifully. Uh, it's got a bunch of nicks and dings in it already, which I love. I love a nice used looking guitar. But there you go. Uh, the other thing too is the uh, covers are very, very tight with this pick guard. Uh, it fits, nothing broke, so uh, I'll live with it. But uh, if I ever end up taking this off again, I might enlarge the uh, little semicircles here. They don't line up exactly perfectly with the pickup covers, but I can still take the pickups in and out, so it's not the end of the world. But there you go. Anyway, I'm going to start stop a rambling. I'm going to go play this for a little bit and then uh, jump on some video games, but there you go. My 1991 Jazzmaster from Japan with a bit of a facelift. <laughs> 